Pisces, how are you? This is your love reading for November 12th through the 19th. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check your other signs. If you don't know your other signs, just Google birth chart. Super simple to find out. And most important, please disregard my little boy hands. I cut off all my nails and I'm hating it. If you're hating it as well, I apologize. <laughs> okay. Pisces. Hmm. Damn, guys, what the hell's going on? They are all reversed so far. Um, all right. So, your overall, you have the lovers reversed. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to be. Um, either way, the lover's reverse is an out-of-balance connection. There, it's, there's a disconnect. So, it is a soulmate connection. However, it's fucked up, right? There's a problem. There's a major problem with it. Um, now, when I say a soulmate connection, I need to clarify because some people take that and run with it like that's their person for the rest of their life. Soulmate connections um, don't have to be people you're with forever. It could be a week-long connection. It could be years. It could be forever. You know, it doesn't matter. Soulmate connection is just one where you and the other person learn a lot. You grow. It's just a very important connection, and I think we have many of those in our life. Whether you stay with a person or don't, it's whatever. But I don't want people to get caught up when I say it's a soulmate connection, like you have to stay in something that sucks because it's a soulmate connection, because it's not the case, because you're going to have another one, and another one, and another one, <laughs> all right? Okay, so, your past energy, how, you have the karma card, this is also judgment in reverse, so, something happened, um, and it was karmic, and it probably didn't go well for you, um, so, karmic connections, hmm, they're not always the greatest. They can suck, right? Um, it just depends. It just depends on what side you're on. So we get in karmic relationships to work out old karma, whether it's this lifetime or other lifetimes. You know, who knows? Doesn't matter. But it's to work out your karma. Um, you know, to give you a clean slate. So whatever this connection was, probably wasn't the greatest for you. Okay, so, Page of Pentacles reverse for your present energy. This is no movement. There's no, no stability being offered. It could also be a younger earth sign that you're dealing with. It is really unstable. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if that means anything to you. It doesn't have to. It's basically just probably no communication, but if you are communicating with this person, um, it's probably really unstable communication, you know? Um, they probably, because it's so out of balance. Now in your future, you have the King of Swords reverse. This is more air energy, like you have Gemini up in your overall. This is more air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you're dealing with one, you don't have to be. If you are, and this is another person. The King of Swords Reversed is a dick. Male or female, doesn't matter. King of Swords Reversed is very harsh, very critical, very judgmental. Whether that's you or the other person taking on that energy, I don't know. Um, they, they're very, very harsh with their words. Um, and they lack emotion. They're very cold. They're detached. Um, not someone that anyone wants to deal with. Now, down here in your outcome, you have the Knight of Cups reverse. This is your energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio. So the Knight of Cups reverse is no love offers being made, just nothing. Or if there is a love offer being made, it's really immature, okay? It's not, not anything stable. It's just Nah, whatever. So this sucks so far, guys. So let's see what else we can get out of this. Let's clarify the lovers overall. And 
so far you've got every sign here except for fire so I can't really tell you what sign you're dealing with because you've got them all almost yeah your overall with the lovers king of swords reversed again that's the one that you have here in your future as well and with that being with the lovers again you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini um, or have Gemini in your chart so your for that to be your overall there was a disconnect in a relationship a connection whatever you called it call it whatever there was a disconnect and someone either you or the other person is being really fucking judgmental and critical and completely fucking detached like cold as hell all right clarify the page of pentacles in your present strength reverse this is leo energy this is first fire sign that came up so far guys so if you're dealing with a fire sign there it is they're not offering you anything stable if you're not it's you're not feeling strong you feel weak you feel drained um unable to offer anything stable because you feel so drained you feel like you don't have the energy for it now i'm going to pull a clarify i don't clarify the past every time because it is the past and whatever it's done but since it is the karma card let's clarify and see what that was all about for you eight of wands reverse more fire energy how about that um so the eight of wands reverse fire energy again aries leo sagittarius you could have had a karmic relationship with one don't have to it doesn't have to be a fire sign eight of wands reversed is not taking any action or in a love situation the eight of wands upright is the arrows of love reverse it's the arrows of jealousy so something happened in this relationship situationship whatever the hell it was for you where um, there was a lot of jealousy involved um, some things happened that weren't very good for you whether you deserved it or not I have no idea um, but it's there was no passion there was no action being taken no communication and it just went to shit all right clarify the king of swords in your future of wands okay now you're getting a lot of fire energy um so the three of wands is looking ahead looking to the future it's preparing for something um you see he's looking out there so he's just kind of trying to figure out what he wants to do which direction he wants to go where he wants to go from here now that this situation went to shit now what do i want to do um it could also mean travel it could be long distance relationship um traveling to meet someone you know just kind of looking ahead looking preparing for the future now that this is the way that it is clarify the knight of cups reverse for pisces and your outcome all right well we're getting somewhere ace of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn aces are new beginnings offered to you by the universe so this is a new beginning um with the knight of cups reversed i don't think that it's i don't know how do i want to say it <laughs> i don't think that there's love involved yet i think that it is it's stable and it's very slow moving but as far as actual love i don't think it's there yet um doesn't mean it's not going to get there i just don't think that that's what you're focused on after all this i think you're just like nah maybe i'm just going to focus on my job my money for now that could be all right let's see i'm going to grab the other deck and clarify these some more so i use the witch's tarot for my main deck and the gilded for my clarifiers um, and then I'll switch back and forth, you know, during the reading, like I'm doing now. All right, clarify the King of Swords and the Lovers in your overall. Oh, okay. 
Page of Cups. This is your energy as well as Scorpio and Pisces. You may have a kid with this person. Pages can be kids. Um, they can also be just younger energy, new energy. So you, somebody could be apologizing for all this bullshit that's happening. Or you could be apologizing to them. For, there's this broken connection. Somebody wants to offer an apology. Somebody wants to offer some type of emotional communication. And someone else, King of Swords reversed, is like, no, fuck that. I'm not fucking hearing it. I don't want your apology. This is shit. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Keep it to yourself. Okay? Whether that's you or the other person, I don't know. Somebody wants to offer love, somebody wants to apologize, and the other person is like, don't fucking talk to me. All right, clarify strength in your present. Reverse Ace of Wands. All right, so this is a new beginning. It is passionate. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. So um, I'm going to just show you something. <laughs> Ace of Wands is fire energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it's with the strength card reverse. So you have this new beginning. The universe is, you know, blessing you with this new beginning. You could take it, but you feel like you don't have the strength for it. You don't feel like you have enough energy, um, but you do. You have the universe behind you, so you can. You can go for this. You will be okay. Um, now, Ace of Wands, it is either... A new creative pursuit and I would say that that's probably what it is since you have the ace of pentacles here as well maybe something job related maybe you're just kind of done with love right now and you're like you know I'm gonna focus on my hobbies on my career that kind of thing um, I do have to say though ace of wands is very sexual energy so you could just be focused on that in your job that could be um, Let's clarify the Three of Wands. What are you looking towards? What are you preparing for? Nice. King of Cups, guys. This is you, as well as Cancer and Scorpio. So you could be dealing with one that you are traveling to see. They might be at a distance from you, or you are just preparing for something with them in the future. Otherwise, this is your energy, which is probably likely. Um, so you go from all of this detached shit, whether it's you or the other person, there's like disconnect, you know, the King of Cups is not disconnected by any means. He's not detached. He's very emotional, uh, very spiritual. So that's definitely, definitely a good thing to go from the King of Swords reverse here to the King of Cups upright. That's, that's awesome. Whether this is you're dealing with you know, if you're female, you could be dealing with two different men. One of them a water sign who is legit and loving, compassionate, all that good shit. And one of them King of Swords Reverse, which is somebody who is an air sign and being really shitty to you. Um, it could be that. Or, you know, it could just be you going from this place of complete detachment to this place of being open again to emotion. Now, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles down here in your outcome. Page of Wands. Alright. So, <laughs> Page of Wands is a very passionate message. Again, could be a kid. You could have, a, you have two pages here, so there could be definitely a kid or kids involved in this situation. If not, this is an offer, a very passionate offer, very passionate communication. It could be sex-based. Otherwise, it's just very fast-moving, like, let's do this shit right now. Um, so that's pretty awesome with the ace of wands here and the page of wands this is you know you are offering that wand <laughs> we know what that means right anyway let's get you some advice actually we already have one here so let's grab another one from this deck and then i will flip it 
What is the advice for Pisces in love? November 12th through November 19th. There it is. All right, let's see. Oh, boy. Okay. You need to take a time out, guys. You need to take a break. You need to get your shit together. Um, Four of Swords. This is retreat after a period of hurt. <coughs> we don't have the Three of Swords here, but the Four comes after the Three of Swords, which, which is betrayal, um, heartbreak. So it's you need to take a time out. You need to rest. You need to heal. And it came out with the Nine of Swords, the other rest and retreat card. This one is just more serious than the four. Um, but if you look at them, both of these people are in bed, okay? This one still has a sword there. He can still pick up his sword. He does have some fight left. But for now, he has to take a time out to get his strength back. That makes sense. You have strength reversed in your present. You are feeling drained. You're feeling like you don't have the energy for any of this shit anymore. It was just too fucking much. Um, and the Nine of Swords is sleepless nights. It's anxiety. It's depression. You may need to talk to someone about it, whether it's a friend, whether it's a therapist, whatever. Um, you definitely need to relax. You have to. With these two here, I mean, there's no question. You have to just stop. You have to take a break. If you're not sleeping at night, you know, get some help. See what you can do about it. But you definitely have to sit the fuck down. Take a time out. I'm telling you. It's necessary. All right. Let's get one more clarifier for your advice. Nine of Cups. This is you as well as Cancer and Scorpio. This is wish fulfillment. You get your wish. You will get your wish. You keep that in mind. Um, you will get your wish, but you have to get your strength back first. You can't jump into this new beginning with the Ace of Wands or Ace of Pentacles if you don't take a break first because you're not going to be strong enough for it. You're not going to have the energy to put into it. Okay? You do have that wish coming, but you have to rest first. All right. All right. Take care, Pisces.